fact remains is that once the Muslim population rises by 2%, we, we start to become aware of them. We haven't been aware of them up until the turn of the century because they've been in small numbers and they've been behaving themselves. Once they get a critical mass, like they have in Europe, Britain, France, Germany, Spain, Holland, Belgium, Norway, Sweden. I mean, in, in Western Europe, 70% of the crime is committed by Muslims. They represent less than 5% of the population. Now, don't tell me they're don't don't tell me they're not creating social issues. Sharia law violates Australian law. If we are to be law-abiding citizens of this country, we must abide by the laws of this country. We vote, we have a democratic country, we vote for our leaders, and they make the laws of this country. If we don't like it, we change them peacefully by voting them out. Sharia law overcomes all that. Sharia law is a political and a social structure. It's not just a religion. It's far more religious. It's a total way of life. Sharia law opposes the laws of our country. My daughter. No. I would also ask what race is a Muslim. Do you know? There is, there's no such thing. We are talking about a political and religious structure, but nothing to do with race. Nothing at all. There are blue eyed blonde Muslims, there are black Muslims. So, what race are they? It's not a, not a, it's a cult. It's a race. Racism is the most obvious expression in the world. I mean, I, I've been told that I, because I'm leader of one nation, I hate Asians. I'm married to an Asian, I adopted two Asian girls. So, yeah, go for you. It's just nonsense, absolute nonsense, garbage.